Hey there, Steve Gamash for Chef Knives to Go, and we have today in our quick look video the Tsunihis Nami Aus, or AUS 10, I should say, uh, Guto 240mm knife. And uh, this is a very interesting knife. So the core steel on this is what's known as AUS 10 or Aus 10 stainless steel. Full stainless steel heat treats about 60, possibly 61 Rockwell on that core steel. And then you've got a multi-layered, very interesting looking cladding on top of that that's uh, soft stainless and multiple materials. And they've done some etching to it, acid etching, and then a really, look at that, polished job. So a big polished job. And it's super interesting pattern. This is quite unique looking. A lot of nice fit and finish work on these. Uh, the weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 174 grams or 6.1 ounces. The edge length is about 247, so it's pretty long, about 9.7 inches from the tip to the back of the heel. Overall length with this handle is about 15 and a half inches. And then thickness wise, it's fairly stiff, especially in the back half for how thin it is. So this is about one just under two millimeters thick back here maybe about 1.885 or so and then we do start to have a bit of a taper a little bit of a distal taper not a lot but a little bit and then we start to get the grind in pretty early to kind of thin it out towards the edge and so we have a bit of a distal taper going that last inch and a half or so two inches and then the tip is nice and thin this is a very well crafted knife And then here is the choil or back of the blade shot. Again, thin at the edge. This knife is very straight. The grinds are really nicely done on it. A lot of uh, attention to detail on this. This is a super interesting looking blade. So this is the core steel peeking out here and you can see the etching that they did it has a different finish on it. This knife has uh, hand chiseled or hand engraved kanji on it. You can feel that and actually see the raised edges on it so it's not laser engraved. It is done by hand uh, which is really cool. And then the left side of the blade uh, is just that every blade's going to be different. That's what's cool about this. Everyone's going to be unique. This is just a really cool looking knife. Nice fit and finish on it all the way around. Um, the choil's nicely done and polished here. The spine is polished and rounded a little bit. Uh, again, attention to detail. So this is just kind of what this one looks like. Again, fairly reflective, as you can see. Out-of-the-box edge, pretty nice out-of-the-box edge. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 on my scale. Um, nice fit and finish, uh, as we talked about. It's very straight, nice clean grinds. Uh, let's see, balance point is... Going to be up there a little bit, a little bit bigger blade. Got a little bit of meat to it, and so that's in front of my pinch grip. So it'll have a little bit of a weight forward balance to it, which is kind of nice. Because a lot of times on these uh, wa or Japanese handled knives, you you get the sometimes the balance point comes back a little further than you want, but this one is a little forward, so it gives you a little bit of power with it. Let's look at the cutting board profile on this guy. Oh, I forgot to talk about the handle. We'll do that in a minute. And I think I forgot about the height. I forgot all, about all kinds of stuff. We'll come back to that. So excited about the finish on this. What can I say? So here's the edge profile. Pretty versatile edge. So you've got kind of a, a low belly in the back, middle, front, third part. And then um, the tip is fairly low. So I'm actually getting fairly high on that. So this will... This particular one is going to rock pretty well throughout that. And then you've got a little bit of a flattish area towards the back. It's, it, it rolls into the heel, but you've got some chopping area back there. So this thing should do well with all kinds of different techniques. It's a 240, so you've got lots of area on that blade to play with. Uh, what did I forget? Blade height. So blade height is about 49 millimeters at the back, so plenty of room for a pinch grip there, no problem. And then the handle is octagonal oak. And they've done a nice glue up job here, putting it into the handle. It looks pretty well sealed. And uh, just a cool, really cool looking handle. It looks like they might have uh, some kind of a finish applied to it to darken it a little bit. But neat knife. So this is the Tsunahis Nami uh, 
Als AUS-10 Guto 240 millimeter knife.